Hi, it's me Skimgora from back with a brand new video. Today I'm going to bring to you three new videos. Now, this one is about two very prominent black people in the media right now. One being Robert Dutty Kelly and the second one being Kanye West. Now, do you want to know what these people are doing you know first let's discuss r kelly the same r kelly the one you know who got married to Aaliyah when she was just 15 years old the same r kelly decided that it was fun to pee on a 14 year old yes this very same r kelly the one who's never been held accountable for any of his actions and when I say he's never been held accountable, yes, people have pressed charges against him. Yes, people have taken him to court, but he's never gone to jail. So therefore, he's never been held accountable, even though this is the same man who admitted on camera that he does actually he does actually like teenage girls because he was asked. Someone asked him straight up, do you like teenage girls? Um, he, and then R. Kelly said, when you say teenager, what do you mean? He goes... And so the interviewer said, well, a teenager, you know, someone who's 13 to 18. And he goes, <clears throat> he just didn't have any words. Like, how can you come back? How can you come back from someone saying something like that? Like, how can you come back from it? Like, you admit on camera that you like teenage girls and you still have fans i'm just i am so very lost i don't understand really what is going on because if it was me yeah if it was me i probably would have cussed him out because that's just me but i guess there's a certain level of professionalism now if you didn't know there was an actual an r kelly documentary that was shown on bbc3 bbc3 is a was a uk tv station but now they've moved completely online because apparently they said that it costs too much money but actually the truth is bbc2 costs more money but they ain't ever gonna get rid of bbc2 so they got rid of bbc3 instead and it's now online so they did an r kelly they did the r kelly documentary and basically all his friends came out and admitted yes the man is a paedophile but the problem is they never said anything at the time in the 90s and the early 2000s because they was worried about losing money. So, teenage black girls' lives don't matter as long as money is involved. Okay then. Teenagers, young black girls, young black women, lives don't matter whenever there is money involved is that what you're telling me wanna crazy <sighs> i've just had enough of the bullshit anyway anyway if you want to watch the documentary i shall be linking it into i shall be linking it into my description box because it's up on youtube so i shall be linking it now to address today's topic of R. Robert Dutty Kelly, oh great, lipstick on my teeth. But to address the topic of Robert Dutty Kelly, he is now saying that what is happening to him because basically the Times, the Times Up movement is basically targeting R. Kelly, telling that, telling Spotify, Apple Music, um, YouTube, and these concerts to stop booking him to stop take well apple music apple music spotify and i think title they want they times up movement wants his music to be removed because every single time his music gets played and it's available on itunes and apple music and spotify every time he's earning money and the more money he earns the more he is able to target black children and this is why the times up movement is saying well now we want to get rid of him the problem i have with this is you have known about r kelly like the celebrities are now getting involved and saying yes you must get in, you must get rid of him you have known about his behavior for years but yet it's only now you want to get rid of him wanna what are you doing you only want to get rid of him now you could have got rid of him a long time ago a long long time ago because if okay we know he's good we know he's guilty but even if he didn't go even if he was found innocent in court 
you still put money into him even though the um even though the marriage certificate him and Elia he got married to her when she was 15 on the marriage certificate it says 18 but she was actually 15 years old when they got married so it was against the law and I know a lot of people are a bit confused saying about how come her parents let her get no they didn't actually let her get married nothing they didn't actually know about it until they found out until they found out afterwards after it already happened so that's why it got annulled straight away because they found out afterwards the marriage certificate is online because it's um public record so you can still find it. I think Vibe magazine was the first magazine that even published the marriage certificate. People knew about this after Vibe published it. People knew about it and yet they still said, oh, no, 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 he's fine. He's not a pervert. Anyway, I'm still going to play his music, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit about these. Leave R. Kelly alone. No, fuck you, man. I might leave R. Kelly alone. I mean, <clears throat> excuse my language. I'm trying not to swear as much, but leave who alone. Leave who alone leave here alone i don't think so anyway so like i was saying times up movement is trying to get rid of them they're getting in contact with spotify apple music itunes any anybody who is booking r kelly to do shows they're saying no stop it stop booking him because now because now because he was supposed to do a concert i think it was last week but that concert has been cancelled he's been basically booted out the place you see booted so now he's there doing a video on instagram crying talking about i don't understand why they cancelled the concert you really didn't know you didn't know really robert robert what do you mean you didn't know <sighs> anyway he's released a statement listen to this listen to this nonsense well, actually, his team released a statement. R. Kelly supports the pro-women goals of the Time's Up movement. We understand criticising a famous artist is a good way to draw attention to those goals. And in this case, it is unjust and off-target. Soon it will become clear Mr. Kelly is the target of a greedy, cons conscious and malicious conspiracy to demean him. His family and the women with whom he spends his time. Kelly's music is a part of American and African American culture that should never and will never be silenced. Since America was born, black men and women have been lynched for having sex or for being accused of it. We will vigorously resist this attempted public lynching of a black man who has made extraordinary contributions to our culture. It just came out last week that R. Kelly's manager, his manager his lawyer and someone else have forgotten who the third person was have all like said bye bye r kelly because he's not getting the money in now so they have no reason to stay even though they knew about even though they knew about his behavior for years now they've decided to leave now because there is too much uproar the documentary has basically pulled a plug out of out of the sea of his fuckery and so now they have no reason to stay you know they have no reason to stay it's it's a difficult one because i was one person who loved his music but now it's so difficult because i can't even play his music now without even feeling physically sick to my stomach because of the fact that he's been preying on young children all the time especially Lear. it's very very difficult because Lear is one of my favorite song one of my favorite singers and to listen to her debut album to know that he had his hands all over it and the fact he preyed on her because i think they met when she was like 13 14 years old she got signed to black ground records when she was 12 years old and then shortly after that she met r kelly and that's when it started he started grooming her from when she was 12 13 years old her uncle barry hankerson was the one who introduced her to robert kelly i'm sure he didn't know i'm sure he didn't know that he r kelly was like that but at the same time it's just i don't know it is just such a disgusting foul situation why are why are black women black children black young 
girls so unloved the fact that i'm not being rude but the fact that it's mainly black women who are the ones saying about oh leave him alone he's done nothing wrong you don't even know this man you don't know this man but the evidence is there the video is up online the video of, up online of him peeing on this girl the marriage certificate the one to um underage Aaliyah is up online the amount the amount of rumors that's been going on for years i mean even in the documentary that i shall be linking even in the documentary they said they even said they had some girls they had some um some sorry they had some women who who you were school age around the time that r kelly r kelly used to go to the school in chicago i mean he wasn't in the school but he used to go around to the school and these women used to see him when they were teenagers and how he used to pick up other girls and i'm like teenage girls he's been preying on them for years young like children they're children even though it's a teenager they are children i don't understand this children <sighs> Anyway, I've had enough about talking about him. Let's go on to the topic of today. Today, Kanye West sitting up there, smacking his gums, talking about how slavery was a choice. Kanye, what's on with you? We already discussed what's on with Robert Kelly, the man to be the file, but what's on with you really? Slavery was a choice? You honestly think our African ancestors had any choice in the matter? Of slavery do you honestly think they did i mean yes some of them did die fighting for their lives because they didn't want to become slaves but it's not as simple as that it's not simple to say oh they had a choice for the most part the choice was taken out of their hands if you want to keep it honestly real for the most part their choice was the choice was taken out of their hands some of them if they even tried to run away they would get shot Some of them, some of the mothers, some of the African mothers would murder their own children because they didn't want their children to become slaves. Do you understand the, men the, me the mentality that you would have to have to murder your own child so they would not become a slave? Some of our African ancestors were thrown off the ships when they were still alive. And then some of them, some of them would die because of the diseases, because, you know, there was, there was no hygiene. They would die, all of them, all of, all of them there on the slave ships, all together, all those diseases and stuff. And some of them would die. And these evil people, these evil, evil people would leave them there until they rotted and then they would throw them in the frigging, and then they would throw them in the frigging sea after that. And that is some of that is some of our own ancestors who we don't even know because they got thrown into the sea, and you know what creatures are in the sea. So that's what I'm going to say about that. Okay, I don't need to go into details, but we already know this. So for Kanye West to sit there and say, "Oh, slavery was a choice." What is his mentality? What is his? I don't understand his his ideology about why he would even think to say something like that it is so disrespectful so so disrespectful to think that you can just stomp on the graves of our ancestors and say well you didn't well you didn't do shit anyway you said because oh you said um because yeah there was some um, slavery at first it wasn't a choice but 400 years listen do you understand do you understand that slavery first started off in the caribbean in Barbados to be exact you know the Americas yeah it first started off in it first started off in Barbados Barbados for some reason was the first country they decided to yeah let's start slavery you know with all these sugar canes and yeah let's get the slaves on that island and doing their sugar um sugar cane get them working those and everything do you understand across the caribbean how many slave rebellions there were the first one being in barbados with busa i'm actually going to do a video i'm actually going to do a um a video on the slave rebellions next week but yes busa was a nigerian 
enslaved man and he was the one who organized the very first slave rebellion in the Caribbean and that was in Barbados and yes it did not he did not succeed he did not succeed he was killed and a lot of people a lot of the other enslaved Africans were also killed but at the same time that uprising that uprising was was inspiration to the other to the other enslaved Africans across the other Caribbean islands to also uprise and then you see the biggest Carib the biggest Caribbean slave rebellion was you know the Haitian revolution the one that actually succeeded and also in Jamaica the the Maroons they also they also rebelled and they was they was also successful now because Jamaica's a little because Jamaica's a little bit different because Jamaica is a little bit different as in the island because Barbados is very flat so when you have a very flat surface area it's very hard to find places to it's very hard to find places to escape to you know once once they start coming for you anyway after you've rebelled and then they start coming for you but Jamaica is a little bit different it's very hilly so the maroons they kind of went up into the hills and that's why and that's why a lot of them are still there now they're still in those hills and that is what that's basically what protected them because they was able to go up into those hills but Barbados does not have a lot of hills it's very very flat <sighs> but for him to be so disrespectful I mean they had they had to plan this they had to plan these rebellions for years for months it's not something you can just do in one day oh yeah I'm gonna rebel you have to plan this and that the fact they was able to plan this despite going through what they was going through shows their intelligence so for you to just sit there and say slavery was a choice oh 400 years blah 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 let's talk about Busa let's talk about the Maroons let's talk about the Haitian Revolution let's talk about Nat Turner in America since you want to be so damn disrespectful let's talk about um, Harriet Tubman and how she led how she led other than the slave African Americans to um to free them the underground railroad let's talk about that since you want to be so damn disrespectful Kanye West it's nothing to do with it's nothing to do with him being married to a white woman because I know because I know there's quite a lot of them white people who actually do their research and they know about these things but no he's married to a freaking airhead who's not even saying well Kanye you may need to calm down a little bit mm? she won't tell him shit and as far as he can say, everyone's there sitting there saying, oh, he's a genius, blah, blah, blah. Genius me back thoughts. What kind of genius is he really? To be that disrespectful, that makes you a genius? Because, yes, it's perfectly all right to, it's perfectly all right to think outside the box. You do not have to think, you don't have to think like everybody else. But when you, when you come out with stuff that is not even factual, that is when you mess up. That is when you mess up. And I don't even think he realises I honestly don't think he realizes so it's just like what on earth are you talking about really what are you talking about anyway I hope you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts about R Kelly and about his about his claiming that he's been lynched really he really wants to say he's been lynched even though there was actually a there was actually a black guy in America who was has been was lynched. I think it was this week or two weeks ago. He was lynched. They found him hanging off a they found him hanging off a bridge. Which is quite disturbing. I need to do some more research into that actually to find out the full details of what happened there because they're claiming it's a suicide, which they always do whenever it's a black man who's been found lynched. They always claiming it's suicide my spider senses are tingling but that is for another day but and also let me know what you think about Keanu West saying that slavery was a choice okay bye